Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do a quick sketch of Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, let's draw this Scorpion, which is a really cool um, character from Mortal Kombat. Actually, uh, one of my favorite characters was him in Sub-Zero. So it's a really cool portrait of him. Uh, let me see, let me check, okay. Alright, so I'm just going to start out with the eyes. I'm going to say this is like the shadow area and then... Say his eyebrow. I'm gonna start out with the eyebrow. It's got a very, very mean look. I guess this is one of the. I mean, the Mortal Kombat's been through so many variations, so many versions. I mean, when I was playing, it was still pretty early. So the designs have changed quite a bit, and it actually looks really cool. I mean, I love what they did with the, with the mask. All right, so I kind of roughed in one eye. Go in and let's say this is a shadow area. And I'm using a 6B, so it's gotta be nice and soft and hopefully I can do it relatively quickly. So actually, let's, let's loosen up a little bit. I don't like the way how, how careful I was in drawing that eye. It should be a little bit easier. All right, so the other eye. Let's just do how's that something like that. And so this is all dark. I'm just gonna block it in. Okay, let's go to the mask. The center of the mask goes down to the eye, somewhere right around here. Okay, and then this comes up. It's a little edge there. Okay, and then we go straight down. Let's see the mask. So this is straight on view, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, okay, we can rough up. Roughly outline the mask. Let's say probably something like that. Okay, maybe it's a little bit crooked, but all right, no problem. All right, let's go. Let's see. Let's go down. I don't want to think too much. So I'm using a 6B, and I might switch to other pencils, but I mean, it all de kind of depends on the need. I mean, if, if I'm drawing and I realize you know I need something sharper or whatever, for whatever reason, then I'll I'll change to it, but. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to plan too much. It is what it is. Let's see. I just want to draw something. And Scorpion is a cool character. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's go back to the eye. Now that I have kind of have something roughed in, you know, the outside can be um, easily filled in. Let, let's go back to the eye. Let me start refining this area a little bit more. All right, so this is darker, but it's got some reflective lighting in there, so I don't want to go too dark. Okay. And of course, this is a CG image, so, I mean, obviously it's nicely rendered, but it's not realistic. It's not hyper-realistic. So, just trying to recognize the areas. Dark. Dark, highlight there, dark, highlight on the nose. And then we can do the shadow. Now the shadow, we can actually just, just outline it like this. Okay, we can actually outline it. And then we can just shade it in. And we can soften up the edge a little bit later, but this will give a nice, you know, kind of push your drawing into, you know, you know, the next level of complexity. So it starts to look good. Okay, and then um, I'll talk about this sh shading right here, right along the edge. It's usually is a little bit darker than when it's in here. And not that that is a, 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 what is real. I mean, obviously in, in here should be darker, but because there's contrast between the, the, the dark and the white, we always perceive this as a little bit darker. Um, that's why you know that's why we get contrast. So by so when we draw that, we we simulate that by making the edge a little bit darker. It actually gives it more uh, a little bit more depth, you know. And also it's kind of like the artistic expression thing. But it's it's a visual thing, and it it just it works. It's a little it's, you know it's a trick. All right, let me see. I'll show I'll show you that more. 
as we get to it, but let me sketch in this a little bit. And then behind the mask, it's dark right here. So we're gonna do that so we can pop out the mask. And there's some detailing here. And let's, let's not go into that too much. Let's go. Okay, dark, dark, dark. There's some, let's see how we in frame, okay. Detail here. Well, this is rather nice because, you know, I'm right-handed, so I like to draw the things on the left side first. And and this image just so happens that, you know, most of the stuff, everything is uh, on the left. I mean, on the right side of his face, so. And then there's nothing, not much going on in the, on the, on the other side. So it's kind of nice, works out that way sometimes. Okay, let me see, this is darker. Some pattern going on in there. So I'm gonna grid down, down, and then this is gonna be dark. So I'm gonna give this a little shade just to progress it a little bit. Also gives you some uh, nice contrast so that you know, you know how dark this drawing is gonna be. Okay, and then got the clothing here, the, cl the little hoodie. Let's see, hoodie, hoodie, let's see, this one's dark here, dark, but I need to sketch in something, so right here is just some, just so I know where things are, then this thing comes down, so collar, and then this is dark, and then the hoodie comes up, this is white, okay, all right, let me see that. This is dark, little angle, angular shape here, and then this is dark, 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 and it fades all the way in here, okay? So, you know, this is kind of secondary. Uh, I don't want to put too much detail on it now because, again, the face is more important. Uh, let's see, all right, let's go up. You can see this, and there's not much going on up here, so. I might just kind of fade it out anyways. The hoodie goes all the way up, goes around, and this is dark. All right, so, all right, let's just keep going. I'm turning my pencil to get a slightly sharper edge. Here, here, this is dark. Okay, and then this is dark, let's see. And then this is dark. I hope you guys like this uh, soft look of the, the 6B. I, I really like it, you know, it's just a lot of texture. Now I am just using uh, regular print paper here, so it's nothing special. That's why uh, you can actually get it quite smooth. It's, not, it's really not much texture on these print papers. So it's got three lines here. It's gonna rough in like this. And I'm just gonna hit the corners right here a little bit darker so that there's variation, right? So, so, you, so you feel like there's something. It's like if, if, if I make this whole bar just dark, then all of a sudden it becomes flat, right? And, and it isn't in the, in, the, in the reference. It goes in, so there's, there's certain areas that's gonna be a little bit darker. So you just kind of just push in a couple areas like that. It makes a big difference, you know, it feels like there's like even if the variation is a little bit off, you know, it's just as long as there's some variation, it just your mind just goes um, recognized as okay, yeah, okay, I get it. You know, that's like a darker area. There's some there's some dimension in there. So that that's what you know you kind of have to do when you're sketching like this because you don't want to spend too much time on the little details, and you want to you know get in the broad stuff first. Okay. Kind of getting the bra stuff and then if you want to you know at the end and you want to put in stuff then you know that's when you do it all right let's go back to the eye again this is the most important part try to do this without getting in front of the camera and it's gonna be glowing white so there's ways to do that um 
you know, if, if we make the area, the face, let's say, right here darker, then all of a sudden the, we're going to see the white of the eye, right? Like it's glowing. So I might have to do that. Because if we don't shade it enough here, then, you know, there's no contrast to the, to the white. So I'm going to have to make this a little bit darker. Start bringing it out. Here, darker, very dark in here. Let's see how it's not looking. Okay, it's coming along. Maybe even, maybe even a little bit darker. Let's push it a little bit more. So what I'm shading now, I'm just kind of like doing these wiggly shapes. So it's actually, I'm a little bit more careful now, which is could be good and could be bad. <laughs> Depends on, uh, do you want this to be a quick sketch or do you want uh, lots of little details? Okay. But it's the eye area, you know, it's okay. If you're gonna, if you're gonna put in extra time, you know, just do it on the eye, where's what's the most important part. All right, so this is dark, let's, let's just fade it out a little bit for now. I'm not sure how far I can want to push this. All right, the eye, the bridge, this is dark. A little bit of reflective lighting here. This is important. And I didn't even see that at first, but as you keep drawing, you can see little things, more and more little things. All right, here's the other eye. Okay, let's just shade it dark for now, just a little bit. Uh, and this pencil is like getting really dull. But I can still turn it and get a sharp edge, so I'm not going to sharpen it. Because if I sharpen it, then uh, what happens is, what then I can't get a dull edge anymore. All right. So this way is a little bit more versatile. It just fades out. Okay, this is, let's get this slightly darker because there is an edge there. This is darker here. I'm just kind of squinting my eyes, just trying to get so I can see the the value quicker. All right, so this is dark, dark. Just leave it like that because if it's all dark, then um, you know it's really no no point in repeating this kind of dark area because it's really boring. I think the mask goes around there. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So, I mean, I, I think this, I mean, I, I can go into more with, with detail, but what I want to talk about was, well, like, like the detail, let me, let me finish that real quick. Like all this little stuff now is really easy, right? Now that everything's kind of laid out. Now we just kind of go in and you know, just all these little scratches here and there. You know, you can use this pencil or or uh, maybe a lighter pencil. I mean, now 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 it's kind of like the fun part, right? I mean, you put in all those wor all that work earlier, and now you're like, ooh, okay, I can. It's like this couple of little the last you know it's like the last ten percent of something. Sometimes it really brings out the the drawing as you put in the details. And this is kind of the fun part. But what I want to kind of um, put some emphasis on was um, the shadowing. Um, when things are dark like this, you see this edge right here, right? What I was talking about. Um, and it's lighter than this part. You see how, how much more artistic this, this drawing looks because it's like that. It's like if I just shade it dark, then it becomes a little bit boring. But when it's like this, when it's lighter inside, it gives it so much more dimension. It just looks more, um, I don't know if there's a word to describe this. It just looks more, it's cooler, right? I, I don't know, what, what's the word for it? I'm kind of lost for it. But it just, it just gives it like some kind of fading effect. And let's say I make this a little darker right here, right? Because around right the mass, it just really pops out the mass. So it's, it's little tricks like that um, that make a drawing cool. I mean, I know cool is subjective, but you know, when you look at something, you feel, you feel as it's very artistic 
and it creates an emotion, it creates a feeling for you. And it's things like this that will, you know, help you in, in turning your drawing into something more artistic. Um, as opposed to just shading as, as you see it. Okay. So that's, that's pretty important. Uh, just, you know, next time you can just try it. You know, wherever there's a big block er black area or just outline it a little bit and then shade around it and then give this edge a little bit just a little bit darker edge and see how that feels to you. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, this is okay. I mean, it, I don't know how much to, to push this. I think you got the, you got the idea. Uh, I mean, I, I might come back and look at it again later, you know, with a fresh eye and then maybe there's something else I can do to make it cooler or maybe even a little bit more detail. But overall, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool sketch. I mean, I've, it's a game character, so I guess, you know, why wouldn't it be cool? <laughs> so, uh, all right, so here is the final drawing for uh, the scorpion here. Um, so I just kind of push in a little bit more detail overall, added a little bit more realism, a little bit more shading. But I kind of left it, you know, more stylized like this with these uh, harder edges right here. And, you know, instead of filling in these areas into black, you know, just kind of leave it uh, a little bit lighter. It's, it almost reminds me of, you know, kind of like uh, when you're drawing a poster or, you know, those comic book style uh, drawings. So, you know, they use that a lot with the, with the harder edges. Just give it a shot, see how it goes, and I will see you next time.